She's a Mona Lisa Everyone's lining up to see her She's a Mona Lisa Everyone's lining up to see her There must be something about her features You'll find her beauty goes much deeper Once you get to meet her You see her walking down the boulevard She got the posture of a superstar She looks so fly in those Gucci slides Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel I've thought about a million ways on how to do this but every idea I came up with I was just like but if I really want to do that how can I do that will I look good doing that these are all the questions that were like running through my mind so I thought the easiest way to I guess kick off like the fall haul saga would be to do uh, a couple videos rather than put everything into one video a couple videos what I mean is I got a lot of things in for fall I've got like H&M, Zara, Target, Nasty Gal, Boohoo, Misguided, Foot Locker, Macy's I know I'm forgetting something else but I can't for the life of me think about it right now but needless to say I got a lot of things, uh, bags, shoes, uh, accessories, tops, out of wear, bottoms. Like, even what I'm wearing right now, like this shirt that I'm wearing is from H&M and it's new. Along with my jeans that I'm wearing right now and they're from Zara. And they're new. So, needless to say, again, I don't want the video to be like... 30 minutes long I want it to be enough for you guys to enjoy it without feeling too oh that she's so much stuff is like being bombarded down our throats that so I guess I want to start off with the H&M and Zara stuff because those are the things that I got first so I got um, a really big package from H&M I ordered some things and picked up some things from Zara in store and um, I'll show you you guys that as well as some things from Misguided so I'll show you Misguided H&M and Zara in this video and in my next video I'll show Boohoo, Anthropology, Nasty Gal and maybe target i'm not sure maybe target can squeeze into this video because i did only get like three things from target so i wouldn't classify that as a haul just items um so with that i guess we'll just jump in and i'll start with the outfit that i'm wearing so keep watching okay she's back and she has bottoms lots and lots of bottoms so the first pair i'm going to talk about are these from misguided they're the stassi misguided um collection pants and um, I got them in a size 14, which now that I realize it, I shouldn't have gotten in a size 14. Should have gotten in a size 10 or 12, but I really wanted that oversized fit, especially for boyfriend jeans, because I do have pretty thick thighs. So I ended up going with the size 14. I'm just gonna do that too much. So here's what they look like. I love that they're distressed in like really nice areas like here, here on this leg as well. I love the shade of blue that this is as well. I just, I don't know, I love distressed oversized jeans and now that they're really making a good comeback, I'm just like, huh, well, I love them before, so I'm going to keep on loving them. So that's that. I'm going to fold it one time so that way it's not a hassle. Next pair of jeans I got are from Zara. They're the classic mom fit. And I got them in a size 12. And if you know anything about Zara's jeans, a lot of their jeans do not stretch. So I'll, I have a tendency of having to like size up in their jeans. So I got these in a black, in color black. Um, so here they are. This is basic, no distress. This is just a simple pair of black jeans that I actually needed because my other black jeans were. <laughs> May they rest in peace. So 
so that's another pair that I got. I actually exchanged this for a different pair of Zara jeans I got that I got in New York. And I really love the ones from in New York, but I got them in a size 10 and they were way, they were small. I got them slightly up my thighs, but then it wouldn't button. So I was just like, oh, I'm the bigger size. But they didn't have it in store. So anyways, next I got these, it's like a lounge set. It's got mocha brown. Here are the bottoms. The top is right behind me. Um, I love this. This is so soft. I've been obsessing over loungewear sets lately because you know everyone's staying at home because of COVID. So you gotta, you gotta be relaxed. So I love these. Oh, <laughs> fail. So these will be coming to the to the gram soon. You know. Probably this outfit first because I really like this outfit that I'm wearing today. Next is another pair of sweatpants, but I didn't get them. I did not get these in a set. I got them separately, but I really just love the color. And they're these like sage green sweatpants from Misguided. But I love the inside. It's like this super soft material. And when I tried them on earlier, I was just like, oh, I felt so good against my legs. And I was just, I don't feel like taking them off. They're so comfy. So I got these and I love it. I love the color of these and they have pockets. You gotta love chunky sweats with pockets, man. The bees knees. So last for um, bottoms, minus the ones that I'm wearing right now, are these, these are probably my all time favorite jeans right now. I just got them from H&M and they're boyfriend jeans. I got them in a size 14. But again, I could have gone with the size. I'm normally a size 10 in H&M, but I like to size up for their boyfriend jeans. So I went with, it's like a distress. Distressed in the knees and then the bottom is like distressed as well. Oh, I love, 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 love these pants. So the downside is now that, you know, I've worn them a few times and they've stretched, they're like way bigger than I thought they were going to be. So I could have settled with the 12, but I think I can make do with these because once you wash them, then they'll shrink. So I tend to not dry my jeans in the dryer because that's how they shrink even faster. I think this pair I'll actually put in the dryer. So these are all my new bottoms. Plus, you know, these that I'm wearing, they're also from H&M. Okay, so I had to shift a bit so I, you guys can actually see all the tops. So I feel like maybe I should, yeah, I'll just jump right in. So again, wearing the sweater. I got this like knit top from H&M and it's, I love it. It has like this furry material on it, which is different. I really tend to gravitate, I don't gravitate towards items like this, but I tried it on, loved it. So I said, hey, I'll hold on to it. So next we have two turtlenecks. One I got from Anthropology, which is this off-white or cream color. Next one I got from H&M, which is like a white color. I did not try on either one of these because I could not be bothered to try on turtlenecks right now. I'm hot. It's hot in the apartment. I couldn't do it. No. So here they are. Back to back so you guys can see. So maybe I'll style them soon, but it's not that cold. It's not that cool right now to be wearing them. Next, I got this one off the shoulder sweater, like chunky knit from Anthropology, And oh man, do I love this. I love the look of it, the feel of it. It's thick, but it's not too like heavy. And you can still like blow air through it. So you won't get hot pretty quickly. So I'm really happy about this one. I picked that, good choice, good choice. Next is this cardigan from H&M. So funny story about this cardigan, it's actually, I went into H&M to do an exchange. I saw this cardigan, it was $20. So I ended up getting this cardigan, these same jeans that I'm wearing and more air cuffs that I have on my ears because I'm actually really obsessed with air cuffs, but I don't want to get like the piercing in my ears. So opting for well, air cuffs. But I love, love, love this cardigan. They actually have it only in store. 
So guys, go ahead and to your local H&M if you really like this cardigan and go get it because it's life. Next is just like a basic, basic top um, from H&M as well. I love their long sleeve. Um, I love their divided um, collection. Simple, basic, size medium, still oversized, but everyone's current obsession besides, you know, this sweater vest are shackets. Shackets are making a big comeback this fall and I've actually had a few of them and I have my favorite one which is like the brown plaid one that I have. I have that in my wardrobe in the closet right now but so everyone's obsessed with this one and another one. So I actually have three new shackets. One I took with me to uh, New York so I have to wash that one so that one's dirty. This one I picked up as well with my exchange from H&M and it was the last one. This is an extra large but it's fine because you can wear hoodies and stuff underneath it. I love the color. It's like a grayish brown top mixture but it's so nice and it's light. It's not heavy. The inside is like a cotton material. And then this is the hoodie for the um mocha lounge set that i got from misguided so it's soft this it doesn't have like the same material as the green um sweatpants but it's still just as soft so i recommend this so both shirts are from h&m this one is simple acdc t-shirt super simple love it I, i'm I was in love for graphic tees. This one I got also from H&M, as you guys know, with their collaboration with Kangol, or Kangol. I think I know what I'm probably saying it wrong. Anyways, so I love this t-shirt. It's a size medium, but it's pretty long, so you can wear it with leggings if you want to, or I don't know, like tights and shorts and boots if you want to, but for me, I probably just wear it with some jeans, maybe some leggings, if I'm depending on what I'm doing. But here's that. I love it. Last clothing item, like for tops, actually, no, second to last. Let me grab this really quickly. I got this misguided green pullover. And it's just simple green pullover. I like the color. It actually, it, it's not the same green, obviously, as the sage green sweatpants. But because of the lettering right here, it does work, in my opinion. So I kind of tend to just pair those two together and wear those two. So, and plus, I love this green color. It kind of reminds me of Christmas. Green Christmas. Last item for tops is this jacket also from the H&M Kango collaboration like oh look at the inside it's like this um, I don't know what this material is called but just so you could wear it like in winter time and you still be warm because it's pretty thick and so I'm supposed to be going to Chicago during the winter time so I'm pretty excited to take that with me and go so I'll go on to accessories and then I'm going to go on to shoes and then that'll be it first accessory is this bag I got from misguided it's just like a little bum bag I love the pattern it's like black and brown with gold detailing this is like one of those bags you take with you when you're running quick errands I love the paper inside to keep it shape to run quick errands it's like so perfect in my opinion super small next I got a new beanie I love this color it basically matches <laughs> everything that I have here and it's just like a basic divided hoodie again divided and it's $5.99 love this hate the ones that are like this small and bothers me so much but I really like this beanie. Okay, I'll just put that back up there. That's it for accessories, minus my hat too. And like I've, I've got a bunch of air cuffs and new necklaces from H&M as well. 
but I'm gonna go on to shoes because I'm really excited about shoes. So I got three new pairs of shoes. The first pair are these white Converse. Whoa. Fail. Give me a second. Okay. So the first ones are these white Converse that I got from TJ Maxx actually. And they're just basic, simple white. The white Converse that I have before, they're like pleather and they have like faux fur on the inside and they're uh, high top. So I can't really wear them for everyday sneakers, but when I saw these, I was like, oh, I like them. They're simple. So these are that. That's that. Next pair of shoes I got from H&M. And I've been eyeing a pair like these for quite a while. It was in my wish list. And when I had the opportunity to snag them online for 40 bucks, I think these cost. I did. I definitely did. The tag is still on them because I haven't worn them yet. But how cute are these Chelsea boots? I'm obsessed. I love them so much. Ah! <laughs> That was such a fail. Let's um, let's attempt that again. <laughs> it's like this. So I love them a lot, but I think the pair of shoes that I'm I'm most excited for. are my Air Jordans like just look at the box that's how you know they're special got crushed a big but I bought these in New York when I went this box down so you guys can just see this shoe like <gasps> detailing is just so nice so crazy story is I was actually going in with the intention of buying just like regular Air Force Ones but then I was about to pay for the high top Air Force Ones when I saw these on my way to the register and so I stopped and I asked him, I was like, hey, um, can I try these on in a six? And so I tried them on in a six, they're a little too snug. So I said, can I try them on in a six and a half? And I tried them on in a six and a half and they fit perfectly. I have not worn these yet. They're still crisp and white, no crease, nothing. How beautiful. Just look at the detailing. Oh my God. These actually look so cute with this outfit that I'm wearing right now, but I'm just so afraid to wear them. I feel like maybe these are the type of shoes that I'd go and I'd buy like a second shoe of them just so I can wear one and just have one to just look at. Like, oh, you're beautiful. You're crisp. You're white. Untouched. Unworn. Just put it in a glass case and just idolize it <laughs> because they're that beautiful <sighs> come back but yeah <laughs> that's it for my haul guys i hope you guys enjoy if you did please leave a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you didn't then i'm learning i'm still you know fairly new to this but just leave your comments and your everything down below i'll respond if you guys want to criticize me go ahead I will respond as well but I feel like since you guys are the viewers I take everything you say into consideration and I try to make my videos better for you guys so with that being said I'm gonna go I'm gonna go now this has been real can't wait to style all of these but I've been indoors for the other day so until then Peace guys, it's been real. <laughs>